Hi guys. Well, it is turning into a beautiful fall day here in the fall of 2021. And I need to get uh, back outside and rupture, further rupture my herniated rib on these damn uh, foundation holes up there on the mountainside. Uh, <laughs> Here on this now lovely Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. So guys, uh, you, you, you know, when I start my rants knowing full well the shit I'm getting ready to stir up, but uh, I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm getting ready to stir up some shit with one of my favorite shit stirrers, and that way, of course, would be the shit stirrer that I have been uh, intractably in love with uh, for the past two years. That would be none other than Dulcinea. Dulcinea just put out a video 15 minutes ago. I was not going to do this rant, but uh, Dulcinea uh, has invited us to express ourselves. She is saying, express yourself and uh, give us your best art, basically. So this is your old performance artist, Hambone Little Tail. I have noticed that I, I, I'm, I'm over on uh, Dulcinea's YouTube channel, going back all the way, looking at every, at every single video that Dulcinea has ever put on her, on her YouTube channel. And uh, I just noticed her top three videos I have the number one, uh, the number, ta her talking about me is the number, her biggest v video of her channel history and the number three. I have the number one and the number three slot and uh, I see Jim Morrison uh, coming in at number two. So, uh, I, I, anyway, I, I am uh, happy that Dulcinea is giving me so much attention uh, on, on her channel, and, and I'm glad to bring you such world fame, darling. Uh, it's the least I could do for you. But anyway, uh, as some of you have probably figured out the past few weeks, well, well Guys, I realize what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do here. I, I, I've been trying to do this uh, since June the 1st, but it's just not working. I, I have been trying to drive the final nail in, uh, in, in my love affair with uh, <clears throat> my ill-fated love affair with Dulcinea. But no, it doesn't matter what I do. I, uh, she, she, apparently she has not banned me from her channel or whatever. The only communication that I have with Dulcinea anymore is, uh, we listen to each other's videos and I comment on nearly every one of hers and she comments. So Dulcinea, I can't wait to read your comment on this, but I have been kidding around, <clears throat> you know, uh, making insinuations, <laughs> making insinuations that Dulcinea uh, is not just one Doomer chick, that uh, the, the, the great thing about being in love with Dulcinea, as I told her, is, you, you know, darling, with, with, with you, it's, you're not just one Doomer chick. I, I get 10 Doomer chicks for the price of one with Dulcinea because I, I never know what personality is going to be coming out on, on those rare moments that Dulcinea will grace me or one of her, whichever personality du jour that she, uh, that she has that day on the rare moments that she does grace me with her company. Uh, we have, Dulcinea and I have actually seen each other we have actually been in each other's company, I guess, if you totally five times since uh, I met her on YouTube two and a half years ago. And so what, what's great about Dulcinea is <clears throat> I, I, I never know which Doomer chick I, I, I'm going to have that day in front of me to spend the day with. I can have 10 
uh, Doomer Chick girlfriends, mythical girlfriends. So anyway, but I will say that all of her Doomer Chick personalities, at least the ones that I have met so far, have been Doomer Chicks that Dulcinea, she's a lot of things. Uh, Dulcinea is a whole lot of things. Uh, she's beautiful, she's funny, she's smart. Uh, she is a, a, a whole lot of things, but one thing that Dulcinea is not uh, is a clueless moron. She is no way a normie, clueless fucking moron. Uh, I, you know, she is uh, an anti-masker extraordinaire. She, you know, when she gets on her vaccine rant, she makes me sound like Anthony Fauci. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, when anti-mask Annie... Uh, or anti-vax Annie uh, is unleashed. Good Lord, move over. Uh, move over. Who is the biggest anti-vaxxer on the planet? You, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, the last... The last personality I expected to see out of all of Dulcinea's uh, personalities was fucking Kate Smith. Where the fuck did Kate Smith, you know, the God bless America fat woman, uh, you know, anybody under Dulcinea's age, uh, she's getting ready to turn 50 years old in, in a couple of weeks. Three weeks from today, I think, Dulcinea hits the big 5-0. People probably don't even know who Kate Smith is. Uh, you might have heard the expression, it's not all over till, till the fat lady sings. What that is a reference to is Kate Smith. It used to be, back in my childhood, when there were three networks that actually signed off at midnight. And uh, they played Kate Smith singing, God Bless America. Uh, to sign off, uh, you know, Kate Smith is this big, fat, normie, clueless fucking moron, flag-waving, Bible-thumping, whatever. Uh, you, you, know, you know the kind. I guarantee you she would have voted for Donald Trump. I'm sure Kate Smith is dead. But that is the fat lady in the It's Not All Over till it's the fat lady sings, just in case anyone listening to this doesn't know who Kate Smith is. But anyway, Kate Smith has now appeared on, uh, on Dulcinea's uh, YouTube channel, where yesterday, I should just play this, but I don't want Dulcinea giving me a, a copyright strike, where... Dulcinea, I, I have to admit, I, I didn't think anything could come out of this girl's mouth that would surprise me at this point. But yesterday, let's see, she made two startling observations. And, and, and I don't have the exact quote. I should have written it down, but this is pretty much uh, that in America, we have free speech and... First, she points out that in America, we have free speech, and then I, I was trying to recover from that one, where in 10 seconds later, she, uh, she told me and anyone else listening to her channel that America leads the world in freedom. America <laughs> leads the world in freedom. Uh, 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 okay, let, let, let's... Uh, as, as Alex Jones would say, let's break this one down. Uh, Dulcinea knows goddamn well. We're going to take the free speech thing. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, Dulcinea knows goddamn well. If she put that camera on her face or on her feet, she doesn't show her face, but if she put that camera on her feet uh, and... and, and barely, barely went into one of her anti-mask, anti-vax rants. 
all right, minimally, uh, she knows goddamn well that video would be pulled down and probably her entire channel would be pulled down. That uh, if, 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 uh, if Dulcinea, I challenge you, Dulcinea, come on, come on, girl, come on here and, and prove your point. Uh, talk to us about the uh, mask and vaccine mandates and, and, and uh, test, your, uh, test your proposition that, uh, that America uh, is the home of free speech. Now, we do have supposedly a constitution. Uh, I vaguely have some knowledge from fourth grade uh, civics class that we do have a constitution guaranteeing us free speech and probably compared to some countries, I guess we probably do have some free speech. Like, I have the free speech to say it's fucking bullshit, to, to say that America is the home of free speech and America leads the world in freedom. This, 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 is, this is unadulterated horse shit. Either one of those statements, I am exercising what is left of my rights of free speech to claim, uh, to, to make the, uh, the no shit Sherlock statement that it is unadulterated horseshit to claim that we have free speech uh, in, in this country or, or that the United States uh, leads the world in freedom. So I am going to exercise my right to say this on YouTube with the full expectation that I will not have this rant or my channel pulled down for saying it. Uh, it, it is called preaching to the choir. We have a little bit of right to uh, freedom to preach to the choir is what I, I would say. Uh, I would say we still have a little bit of that left. Uh, the, the, the freedom, uh, but, but, you know, anybody who really goes up against, uh, the, the great American empire is going to be silenced. And, and, and you don't even have to go to the, you know, it, it, it's as much, uh, all of this, and I'm not going to get into a whole rant, although I would love to hear Dulcinea uh, talk about the, you know, this political correctness, how, how these fucking little limp dick lefties are, are doing more to crush free speech uh, and, and, and on this planet than anybody else with their little uh, political correctness and, and all of this crap uh, where it's just peer pressure. Uh, thank God that, uh, you know, that George Carlin, Bill Hicks, uh, uh, who would who kicked that off? Well, certainly George Carlin and Bill Hicks, to a lesser degree, uh, Bill Burr, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, certainly. Thank God, uh, <laughs> we 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 still have them able to exercise their free speech to talk about uh, America being home to free speech. But, but obviously, more important than that, uh, than that absurd Kate Smith statement uh, is this contention, this Kate Smith contention that America, meaning the United States, leads the world in freedom. Leads the world in freedom. Let's say... Uh, I, I think if there's one thing that everybody from Joe Rogan and Alex Jones on one side of the spectrum, right on, and I don't know what side of the spectrum to put George Carlin on, but if there's one thing that Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, uh, George Carlin, Bill Hicks, uh, Chris Hedges, Caitlin Johnstone, uh, who's the, um, I'm having a senior moment, 
the old man that uh, good lord I'm, I'm having I'm having two senior moments Noam Chomsky cannot remember Noam Chomsky's name I'm trying to remember that comedian Lenny Bruce okay Lenny Bruce Noam Chomsky Chris Hedges Caitlin Johnstone uh, Bill Hicks George Carlin Joe Rogan and Alex Jones can all agree on Okay, it is this that is uh, that America uh, it, 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 it is not leading the world in freedom. Okay, uh, this is not not that I'm telling all of the other personalities, Doomer chick personalities, living in uh, in, in Dulcinea's tangled brain, uh, that the, the other ten personalities know goddamn well uh, that, that uh, make, making that claim is bullshit. I I ran this by real lies, real lies, real lies, and I I don't know what he's basing that. He said that the last he heard the America was 19th on the list of countries leading the world in freedom. Uh, I, I would love to go in here and play some George Carlin and uh, Bill Hicks clips. You know, uh, Dulcinea is a big fan of comedy. Uh, I know she's a huge fan of Joe Rogan. Well, maybe you need to listen to Joe Rogan if you don't want to listen to Hambone Little Tail, darling. Uh, the United States is, I would say, uh, it, it, if not the single biggest threat to freedom on the planet, certainly, uh, you know, in the top three or four. Uh, the United States, uh, everything about the United States, uh, namely uh, our military, uh, is, is, just the, is just the strong arm portion of it. The United States of America, as, as 10 of 11 of Dulcinea's personalities knows goddamn well, is the single biggest threat to freedom on planet Earth. Uh, we have been a threat to freedom uh, from, uh, from the 4th of July, 1776, right on up to today. We are a much bigger threat to freedom on this planet uh, today than we have ever been. We are leading the world away from freedom. Okay? Uh, get this, get this straight, Kate, uh, Kate Smith, uh, I I anyway, uh, I, I could go on and on with this, but, uh, you can go listen to, uh, Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, George Carlin, Bill Hicks, Lenny Bruce, Chris Hedges, Caitlin Johnstone, and Noam Chomsky can take over from here. And, uh, good Lord, swallowing that, that propaganda bullshit. Uh, c come on, uh, what were you saying to me in your rant? C come on, Hambone, get it together. Come on, Kate Smith, get it together. But anyway, as I was telling another one of, uh, of Dulcinea's fans yesterday, uh, I, I, I said, don't worry, brother. This personality, like all the rest of them, will uh, disappear, and we will get one of the ten Doomer Chick uh, versions of Dulcinea with a brain. Uh, sh they'll be back. Anyway... Now that I have had, now that I have taken uh, Dulcinea's advice from a few minutes ago to express myself with my performance art, I have to uh, get out there and express myself with a post hole digger and keep on digging holes until the fat lady sings. 
the fat lady, she is tuning up in the green room. <clears throat> I guess when the fat lady sings, it will be game over, planet Earth. But until then, keep on keeping on. Keep on expressing yourself, Dulcinea. We love you. Bye, guys. Say hello to Auntie Dulcinea. Hi, Auntie Dulcinea. Hi, Auntie Dulcinea. Bye, guys. <laughs>